this kid is so high level for 17 years old. You did it. You have just set an incredible record. You are now by far the youngest UFC fighter in the history of the company. Not only is MMA the world's fastest growing sport, but it is also one of the most brutal and toughest in history. Being in the cage could appear dazzling to the audience, but behind the flashing lights and cheering audience are hours of hard work, sweat, and tears. Putting yourself through extreme physical and mental strain, going through cuts, blood, and the occasional broken bone, the UFC octagon is no country for young men. Amidst this, some UFC champions defied their ages and claimed championships to prove that age is not a limiting factor. But before anyone could write history, UFC had to rewrite the rules. Joining the ultimate fighting championship as a fighter requires you to be 18 years old. But did anyone imagine that UFC will sign up a 17-year-old kid who is still in high school and grant the teen a special license before the end of the show? Can you believe that a teenager could defeat a guy twice his age and become the youngest fighter in the history of UFC? Well, it might be time to start believing, as we have a living example of Raul Rosas Jr., a young man who is continuously underestimated by the people around him, a fighter whose dream of a better future for his family comes through professional fighting. Sit tight because this story of a 17-year-old boy is far from ordinary. Born in 2004, the bantamweight champion El Nino Problema belongs to a small town in Mexico. Growing up in Mexico's most dangerous and poorest boroughs, his life was far from stable. Rosas is among those countless first-generation immigrants pursuing the American dream, hoping to make his parents proud, but also holding the burden of repaying them for everything they had to undergo as immigrants to provide him with a brighter future. From a very young age, Raul Rosas was into various martial arts. With the efforts and support of his family, he trained in wrestling and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu while trying to pick something new from every session. This talented young man is not the only fighter in his family, but his father, Raul Rosa Sr., works as a boxing coach. Growing up seeing his dad boxing, he also developed an interest in MMA and decided to follow the footsteps of his father. His father knew that Rosas Jr. had a knack for combat sports. Rosas, at just 13, moved to Santa Rosa in 2017. He remained reluctant after that. He started boxing in high school and participated in Bancration, an amateur MMA-like sport. Later in 2021, the Rosas family relocated to Las Vegas, the fight capital of the world. Rosas started his training at Cobrina Jiu-Jitsu and 10th Planet Las Vegas. Fast forward to a year and five professional victories. The possibility to demonstrate his abilities at Dana White's Contender Series came itself, which was an exceptional possibility. Ability. The boxer has also competed in the UWC tournament in Tijuana. The Nevada Athletic Commission typically limits athletes' ages to 18 to 38, but it can give permits outside that spectrum with special permission. After defeating Mando Gutierrez by unanimous decision in Dana White's Contender Series, Rosas became the youngest fighter the UFC has ever signed. Before the fight ended, Rosas was presented with a contract by White, who had been captivated by his performance. Due to his young age, Rosas Jr. needed approval from his parents and sponsors to receive a license, but he has confirmed that he has finally been granted the go-ahead from his family after completing all the paperwork. The Nevada Athletic Commission is anticipated to officially grant him a license. The Phantomweight Rosas outgrappled the 25-year-old Gutierrez for most of the fight. With a seldom utilized Sulaev stretch submission from back control, he came dangerously close to finishing Gutierrez in the opening round. Rosas was taken down by Gutierrez, who also applied some ground and pound. But Rosas would nearly always come out ahead after using his athleticism, talent, and creativity to climb to the top from the ground. Rosas had defeated each of his former opponents. According to ESPN stats and information, Dan Lawson is the youngest fighter to have ever competed in the UFC in 18 years and 198 days old. Rosas will claim that record as long as he enters the octagon during the next 216 days, which is a plausible situation. Rosas has his eyes on capturing titles. Rosas Jr. is poised to make history, but he isn't content to sit back and enjoy the moment. He has indeed set his eyes on being the youngest UFC champion in history. The current holder of that record is John Jones, who won the title of light heavyweight champion in UFC 201. John Jones, who was only 23 years old, stunned the world by becoming the youngest UFC champion. Jones remains the youngest UFC champion in history. For 11 years, the record has held consistent. Born Jonathan Dwight Jones, the 35-year-old, is a 
black and purple belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and Gaeta Jutsu. He excelled as a wrestler and won the state championship in high school. To continue his MMA career, he left college where he was majoring in criminal justice. Jones has a vast compilation of accomplishments, which includes the most victories, submission wins, championship defenses, and winning streaks in the light heavyweight division. After quitting the light heavyweight class, the father of four is now aiming for titles in the heavyweight division. Young champions like John Jones are becoming the norm in the world of MMA. Not long ago, there was an era when the UFC's heavyweight category was ruled by fighters who used to be in their 40s. Currently, Cain Velasquez, 31, is the only UFC champion who has managed to reach his 30th birthday. Talking about the youngest champion of UFC, how can we forget the legacy of Jose Aldo? The Scarface started his boxing in Brazil before he turned 18. When Aldo was 21 years old, he had already joined the WEC, the top featherweight promotion at the moment. Aldo was granted the opportunity to face 145-pound champion Mike Brown after defeating his first five WEC competitors. Additionally, the Brazilian defeated Brown to win the WEC featherweight championship at the age of 23. He would have become the youngest champion in UFC history if the contest had taken place inside a UFC octagon. Aldo had to defeat his opponents twice more and wait a full year before being elevated to UFC champion. He was briefly the youngest fighter to retain a UFC championship thanks to that promotion, but the title was short-lived. Another youngest ever fighter who has made history as the UFC champion is Josh Barnett. Josh, being a 19-year-old kid, started competing in MMA. When Josh Barnett was 19 years old, he started taking part in MMA matches. A week after turning 23, he made his UFC debut and went 3-0 in his first four matches in the octagon. Barnett was given a championship opportunity in his subsequent fight against Randy Couture, whom he defeated at the age of 24. At that time, Couture was 39 years old, the oldest fighter in the UFC, and Barnett, almost half of his age, still managed to beat the guy. However, controversy arose when it came out that he failed a drug test following his second round submission win over Bobby Hoffman at UFC 34, which almost prevented him from facing Couture at UFC 36. Barnett ended up being scheduled to fight Couture since he only received a warning from the Nevada State Athletic Commission rather than a ban. Later, it was also discovered that Barnett had failed his drug test for that fight also. Even though it would have made his victory over Couture in Valley, in the modern world, Barnett preserved the win and just had his heavyweight title taken away. Despite the controversy surrounding his championship status, Barnett retained the title of youngest UFC champion for more than eight years. The last young buck and the more recent inspiration for Roses, who has made UFC history, is Max Holloway, the new boss of the featherweight division. Max Holloway made his UFC debut in 2012 at the age of just 20, making him the youngest competitor on the roster. Consequently, Holloway experienced early difficulties. He was only 3-3 three and three during his first six fights in the octagon. The boss has instantly proven himself as one of the top fighters in the world right now, pound for pound, regardless of weight class, thanks to his stellar achievements and amazing amazing boxing abilities. In a newly released ESPN footage, a youthful Holloway, then 13, is seen working out vigorously when he had just begun fighting and talks about how he went on to fight his first professional battle after only three days of practice. The champion, as a young 13-year-old boy, also discussed his family's struggles and the individual issues they encountered as a result of his dad leaving him and his family. Is Rosas Jr. prepared to enter the UFC and create an early impact? Honestly, the odds aren't in his favor as the youngest fighter to ever sign a contract on Contender Series. Rosas Jr. claims he has already analyzed the top bantamweights in the world and can identify weaknesses in their strategies. However, there will probably be some rough patches at some point, exactly like there have been with several other young fighters from the Contender Series. But you must admire that teenage enthusiasm and optimism. Rosas Jr., though, has a fantastic potential to amaze, assuming one can't expect him to be immaculate right away. He is an all-rounder risk-taker with genuine skills on the field and a special talent for fusing several facets of his gameplay far more effectively than any 17-year-old should. Considering his age, he is also exceptionally physically fit. It's certainly possible that he may later face a more skilled opponent and bump into man strength problems. But this doesn't seem to be a major concern. Is Rosas Jr. experiencing all of this too soon? Probably, but probably not. One of the most intriguing things to watch this season is undoubtedly his potential. 